Hi, Carol. Hi. I don't know if you could see what we're wearing or where we're going. You could see Christmas lights behind us. Is there any? No. Okay. So we are just now getting to the Forbidden Journey experience. Forbidden Forest. Forbidden. <laughs> forbidden Journey is in Universal. But no, um, we are going to the Forbidden Journey experience forbidden here. Forest. We're going to the Forbidden Forest here in Frisco, Texas. Um, we're very Little Elm. We're not in Frisco. We're in Little Elm. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is the first year here. This is the first time we've ever experienced this. So we don't know what to expect, but we're super excited. I just wanted to quickly add that we didn't do a lot of talking during the experience. So I'll be jumping in every now and then just to add some voiceover to what we were seeing. At the very beginning of the experience, they do have some shops set up where they have food, butterbeer, as well as some merchandise. Uh, I know I did see some wands for sale, but you also have a chance at the very end of the experience to uh, pick up some food and merchandise as well. Throughout the pathway, they will have the symbols lit up. It's for a phone app that kind of provides more information on the creatures uh, that you'll be seeing as well as uh, maybe a few other things. As you get close to them, uh, your phone will auto detect it and kind of pull it up. We found that if you're a Harry Potter fan, you really don't need this. Uh, we used it for a little bit, but stopped using it about halfway through. But like, you know, if you're not a Harry Potter fan or if you just kind of want some more information on the creatures, this is a fun app to use. They will have like a barcode at the very beginning of the experience that will take you to it in the uh, app store. <laughs> if, uh, if anybody was looking for some stuff, <laughs> all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. I don't see any spiders. I see some webs, though. <laughs>
right. So one of the cool things we heard while we were here was this announcement that either went out through just this part or through the entire experience because we heard it twice and it's about every hour. But we'll let you listen to what that announcement was. Give me Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> Some attachment issues. Now come on, pick it. So a little over halfway through the experience, you'll come across kind of a wand interaction battle area. For the battle interaction, you don't need to bring a wand, they'll provide one for you. But also they had like little interactions, which you technically don't need a wand for, but I would, it's much funner with a wand. I'll just say that. Um, we actually do have wands, we just forgot them in the hotel room. <laughs> what is it? Oh, Matt, put in the couch. Varnish pixies. Varnish pixies. Yeah, pick me puffs. Hello, pick me puffs. So at the end of the experience, they did have this Christmas themed area that had a bunch of food booths lined up and they all offered a, just a different variety of food. And we got the cheese toasty and it was basically a Texas garlic bread with cheese in it. It was, it was okay. And then I also got the fish and chips. And uh, for the price we paid, it was, it was, I uh, wouldn't recommend it. It was basically like, you know, made earlier in the day and just kept warmed. Um, it was something, it was nice to have after going through the whole experience. But if you can wait, I would, rec I would definitely recommend like going and getting food afterwards somewhere else. We did also get some Hufflepuff hot chocolate, which is, I believe, just caramel hot chocolate. I would recommend getting the hot chocolate. It was delicious. When we go back, I do want to try other flavors. And of course, when visiting anything that's Harry Potter themed, you have to try the butterbeer. For this one, it I felt like compared to Universal Studios, it wasn't as sweet. And for me, the butterscotch taste wasn't as strong. But we were offered for extra fee to add adult magic, and I'll let you guys just figure out what that is. And I thought it actually made it a little bit better. Kind of added a little bit of a spice flavor to it, which I enjoyed. Then we also get this uh, pygmy puff looking treat. Uh, I honestly don't remember what it tasted like, but it was cute. All right, so we just finished with the Forbidden Forest okay. experience. <laughs> I am saying that correctly. It was super fun. Yes. Um, we actually are are already talking about when we can come back. Um, we got, got we got 
We got a lot of goodies. And uh, we didn't do any talking just because we wanted to enjoy enjoy the experience. So yeah. I did I did add voiceover. So but super fun. Can't wait to come back and hopefully do it either just by ourselves or with friends. Yeah. So highly recommend. <laughs> Uh, it's a great, great experience to bring your family, um, your friends, whatever. Um, it's just a fun night. Yeah. Fun thing to do. So. so just happy to experience it. And, you know, like I always say, it's very important for me just that everyone takes their vitamins. All right. Do it. Do it. All right. But uh, also, I guess, like and subscribe. I sometimes forget to say that, but, you know. Also do that. Yeah, do that, I guess. Do it. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Boop.